Yeah, so I, uh, I'm out here to do some yard work for the generous Mr. Yearwood on his property out here in Woodville, Texas, behind the airport. And I get here today, and there's a giant log, or it's a, it's a tree, let's face it. It's not just a log, it's a whole tree has fallen right in the path that takes me to the cabin so immediately I have to uh, take care of that and it's gonna require a chainsaw <laughs> As you can see, part one is complete. Now on to the real work. The cabin. There it is. Here we are. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, so here is what I have to finish today. This is my job. And you're asking yourself, well, Brian, that's a that's a hot tub. What, what does it mean it's your job? The hot tub is your job. Well, as you can see, I've already beat down the outer walls with a sledgehammer, which was extremely uh, entertaining, to say the least. Who, who gets to say they got to beat the hell out of a hot tub with a sledgehammer? Who, who gets to say that? This guy gets to say that. This guy does. And now, I'm going to chainsaw it into little sections. So I will have officially beaten a hot tub with a sledgehammer and chainsawed it to bits. I don't know if that's very entertaining vlog or internet video, but but I'd watch it. I, I would. Whoa, there's a mosquito on the lens. <laughs> As you can see, I just sawed the first section of this big mamma jamma off. Uh, who said this was going to be fun? I did. It wasn't necessarily fun. I think it was a little wrong on that account. It's a lot of work. but. As you'll see, piece by piece, this hot tub, well, it's no lady inside the magic box. See, I'm about, uh, I'm about halfway through. No, more like one third of the way through. And I had a nasty realization. I wasn't wearing a long sleeve. It's not really that cold today. Actually, it feels good. But I wasn't wearing a long sleeve, and my my arm started to itch really bad. And as you can see, look, look at uh, look at this. Look at how red my arms are the fiberglass, the teeny bits of fiberglass, the little bitty teeny bits have been flying all over my skin because the chainsaw cuts them up and apparently it irritates my skin. I have sensitive skin. It burns us! Nasty elves twisted it! Ouch. So yeah, I had to wear sleeves now. But 
no big deal. Gotta finish it. Okay, so, um, lunchtime. I was just gonna talk a little bit about my week. I'm walking up this trail. My mom's gonna bring me a hamburger from the West Magnolia in Woodville. Wonderful, wonderful barbecue and, and burgers and whatever delicious fast food items you might want. Anyway, uh, so far this week, I've, uh, well, I came out here to work for Mr. Yearwood. Um, I took my Geology 1 exam last weekend, uh, visited with my buddy Evan, who's in the military. In fact, he and I stayed the night at my good friend Otis's house, Otis and Sabina's house in Warren, and we stayed up, we watched a really awesome Guy Ritchie movie, Revolver. Uh, Evan and Otis really weren't into it, but I love it. The first time I watched it, I really wasn't into it either, but I watched it several more times. And now I introduce it to anybody because it's just fantastic. I'd say temperature wise right now it's 50s, high 50s. Feels good. There comes my mom right now. She's pulling up. And anyway, last night we watched, fell asleep to the movie Monsters, which if you haven't seen that, you gotta check it out. But here comes my mom. Hey! Hey lady! What are you doing ma'am? I done told you to stay off the trail here. I told you to stay off this trail here. Why am I ridiculous? Because I want to put you on video? Yes. Why are you hiding from me? Mom. Please stop it. We'll just turn around and say hello to the camera. Why? Hello, I got you on the rocking chair. I got you on the rocking chair. You didn't see me whip around with the camera. I got you on the rocking okay, chair. Enough. It's enough. So now I have to sharpen the, the blades on the chainsaw. For all you non-chainsaw using folk out there, you have to sharpen your blades and you have to tighten the entire chain or it'll come loose. And on top of that, if they're not sharp, it's not gonna cut very well. <laughs> you think Leather Pike's running around cutting up folk with a dull blade? You're so wrong about that, let me tell you. <laughs> you going out the woods today? You're gonna kill me a hot tub. I don't think I went too far. There you have it folks, that's this week's vlog. The very spooky Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre feeling film with the grain and the spooky feel. Take a look at uh, how the uh, hot tub turned out um, in the back of my truck, the clip there. Uh, pretty ugly sight. Anyway, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I will be getting on to other things in the next vlog other than just my daily life and goofy stuff. However, I think this week's video is pretty fun. Um, thanks to the Yearwoods for giving me the job so that I can work out there and tear that hot tub apart. Thanks to Evan for letting me use his AK-47. Yes, that's right, FBI. It's his AK-47 in case you're watching this. Not mine. I don't have one. Don't come knocking on my door. Anyway, um, and no, no, no animals were harmed. Uh, there were no, there's a, a hill right behind where we shot that scene 
and there's trees there uh, too so the bullets went into trees and into dirt so always practice gun safety folks anyway we'll be moving on to talk about softballs my movie playing with softballs that is very soon and that'll come up on the next vlog other than that thanks for watching guys my name is Brian Gay and this is my vlog